Hello Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome cross watchers. I hope you're all having an amazing day today. I'm going to be taking a look and seeing what's manifesting for you all. What's going on right now in your current situation with you, person on your mind if any, and what you need to know so whenever you do see this it will be the right time as always take what resonates and leave out the rest practice using your own discernment don't forget to like comment subscribe follow me on all social media tiktok instagram i am spiritually goldie on all platforms and if you're interested in a personal reading done by myself, I'll leave all of that information in the description box below with the link to my website, spirituallygoldie.com, for you to view the different options for readings. Okay, so Taurus, you may be, I feel like you're. some of you are going through a lot right now. You do have the lightning, so there may have been like a sudden change or shocking news, something that really uh, surprised you or caught you off guard in some way. And it, I do get a sense that like this is involving, I'm definitely seeing like involving love life. So with someone who things could have definitely headed towards marriage with this person or you could be literally married. I'm seeing wedding rings, a union, wedding, um, or a promise that was made in some way, or someone who you saw a future with, okay? For to the, the very least, some of you, like I feel like you really saw a future with someone here. And yeah, it feels like disappointing. I, I'm picking up that Someone may have moved on to a, a new relationship and you may be catching wind of this. And I see you now like rebuilding. You're, you're rebuilding and taking your power back with that magician. In a situation where you gave your power away, where you maybe felt like you weren't receiving enough, something wasn't being reciprocated, you're at this point where you are doing everything in your power to create or manifest new beginnings in your life. Tell me about this magician. And a, a wish fulfillment, okay. So I really get a sense that there's a big part of you that wants to that wants to enjoy life be happy be content and be able to to be at peace even if it's just you even if it's you know you're you're single it's like I, I see a big part of you still wanting to be happy and still wanting to um like not dwell on the past or dwell on things that didn't work out and I definitely feel like this is you realizing that and doing everything in your power to go within or bring some self-love within and 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 kind of like uh what's the what's the word called it's like talking yourself up or giving like yeah it's like you're giving yourself a pep talk. That's what I'm really picking up. Like I'm really seeing someone giving themselves a pep talk. Like you are it. Like you are beautiful. You are smart. And whoever doesn't see that, like that is their loss. Like I really see you um, shifting. This is whatever this shocking news is. Actually, it's like it's it's bringing some sort of like epiphany moment or realization of how did I, why was I so caught up in this situation and this person when I know who I am and I know what my worth is. I know 
what I, I was literally, it's like you're looking back and saying, wow, I gave my power away in this situation to someone that didn't deserve it. And now you're just taking it back, literally. Taking it back. <laughs> Honestly, some of you were like out of someone's league in some way where you kind of brought yourself down to meet someone else when they had to come up to meet you. But it is what it is. Oh, the tower came out again. Definitely shock, like shocking. But you're rebuilding. I see you rebuilding from a, a clean slate, a, a strong foundation. And taking time to be introspective, coming back to yourself, taking time to be alone. It's okay to be alone sometimes, you know? It's okay to... Um, not socialize all the time or go go out all the time. It's okay to go within, take some time for yourself and recharge and reflect on the things that that bring you happiness in your life or things about yourself that you that you love. Okay, and to be honest, I, someone may have gotten gone went back to like um, a past person or past situation, and it really disappointed you to find to find that out. But it's all happening for a reason, and. The thing is, though, the crazy thing is, is that I really feel like it's not over. You know, I really, I just feel like it's not over. But the thing is, I'm, I see like once someone comes back around, it's, they realize the grass wasn't greener. I just see you feeling like at this, it's like they're just not, whatever they do is just not going to be enough or it's not, they are not going to give you enough in, in a way. Yeah, because you're like rebuilding yourself. I feel like this was a karmic lesson or you just learned something from this and there was, and now you're letting go and, and loving you healing yourself and your inner child a big learning lesson from this and this is and this lesson is something that's valuable and they are saying that the end of a tough cycle is approaching i feel like all of these wands are all different triggers that this brought out of you different triggers different insecurities different stressors it's like it's all done now it's over now Ace of Cups is here. So you will meet someone new. You will have someone new come in. Even if it's just a friend, you know. Although I see something more. I definitely see something more. I'm seeing someone that actually has their eye on you already. Someone already has their eye on you and already feels attracted to you or connected to you. Could be a water sign, a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. Um, but yeah, you you know what's interesting is because we have these three cups that this person is like um, upset about, but there's two cups behind him and we have the two of cups here. So there's someone already in your energy where I definitely see a potential here for a new relationship. There's the attraction is there or it's like you two both like each other equally. At least they feel that way. They want to see you. This person wants to see you. And and I, I also feel like they... This person is... Some of you, this person is wanting to travel towards you. 
I do see them wanting to take action to your direction here. You can see this person is leaving turbulent waters behind to go to calmer waters. So this person wants to have, wants to move towards you or they want like some sort of new, new start here. Okay, because they, they feel a connection. And something about this is them also wanting to heal you or heal your inner child. But this person likes you. I You two both like each other and they already have their eye on you. So we'll see. We shall see. Tell me about this Ace of Cups. Mm, fire sign. Leo Aries Sagittarius, you are going to receive an invitation from someone who's really motivated to pursue you. Invitations coming in, but there's definitely new love here. The worst is now behind you. Ooh, things are about to change. There's changes ahead. There, There is going to be a positive change. So your luck is really about to change here in 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 a big way too where you may actually end up marrying someone something about the number 10 maybe like 10 months okay someone possibly even at a distance someone's making plans but the advice 10 of wands is to let down let down your burdens release the these burdens you don't have to carry everything on your own or if you're someone who doesn't talk about things that bother you they're urging you to talk to someone or to, or allow people to help you so that you're not the only one doing everything or carrying everything on your shoulders i'm seeing the numbers one two five ten those numbers, they could be related to birthdays or special days. I'm seeing the letters L, S, H, N, E, W, and R. Those letters can be in your name or someone else's name. But with that said, this is what I'm seeing. If it did resonate, let me know. And if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you all have an amazing and blessed rest of your day. Bye.